<laughs> you know, or something like that. It, it's, uh, but we've all been to different events with each other, and we right. sort of know each other in that capacity. And uh, most of the nominees have been nominated before, so yeah. we're used to, used to losing a lot. This career-wise means quite a bit, something like this, both, both for you personally, I assume, and, and for the motion picture. Well, it does in terms of the industry. I mean, the Oscars yeah. mean something for our industry. They work very well. You know, yeah. things get redistributed, like this movie is going to be redistributed very soon, and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. I don't know what it is, but I know it means a lot, and it means yeah. millions and millions of dollars. And uh, for us, it's really a, a big party, I think. And it yeah. should be that way. It should be a, a, a big party where all sorts of people that have worked together at some point in their life... Uh, you know, gather and say, gee, aren't we the one in ten? People yeah. always assume that everybody in the entertainment business is, sees other people all the time. It's very often not true. Some of those people you work with, you never see again. That's true. For yeah, a long time. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I don't see anybody. What do you do? You, you yeah. go home, watch TV, and eat. What, what's is there anything else that I'm missing? What was the business about renting videos before this? Renting bad videos? No, I, they weren't bad. Well, <laughs> no, I got, you know, I couldn't sleep a few days before, so right. I, I rented these videos, and the guys said, but if I won, I'd get them for free. So I cashed in on that quick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you turn it in and get your money back? I tried to get I tried to get my money back everywhere, but it didn't really work. You were on the. When was the last time you were on the show? When we sat together. Um, I first. can't remember. We've actually I've been on here a few times. I think yeah. it was for Hotel New Hampshire, maybe. Yeah, and then I think in the early years was from Taxi Driver. You were yeah. here. I, I was very excited to come here tonight. Really? I just, yeah, I, I was. I was. Uh, uh, I, I went went in initially, and I said, "Well, can I get a picture with Johnny?" They said, "No." What are you talking about? Who said that? They said no, and then, they, then I said, well, uh, I said, do you, do you think, like, you know, maybe I could get a seat up there? They said no. Somebody said you couldn't take a picture <laughs> so with me? you get an Oscar? What do I get? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we pay you little enough. <laughs> want a still picture, or do you want to make a movie with me? I mean, it's... I mean well, we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> we could, you know, last time, actually, I think I proposed to you, but uh, that didn't go over too well. Really? Yeah. Was I between marriages yeah, at the time? I think so. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it was one of those shaky times. Yeah, I probably wasn't really settled in yet and uh, <laughs> wasn't, wasn't ready. Um, are, are you married at the current time? I'm not... No. 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 Never, never been? No, I, I would love to be. It's a great institution. I'd love to have children and do all that kind of stuff, but it uh, hasn't happened yet. Yeah. <laughs> but that, is that, that, that's what you'd really like to do, settle down and, and have, have a family? Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, settling down, I mean, um, I don't think... Why do people always say settle down when yeah, you get married? Yeah, it's a good that's, question, isn't it? That's almost a kiss of death when you say that. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to settle down, Al? No, not really, I don't think so. <laughs> it sounds so, so permanent, doesn't it? No, I'm, I'm really enjoying my life right now. I don't really yeah. have very many regrets about it, so, uh, you know, I have dates, and, and I make movies, and I uh, watch TV and do all that, and yeah. I, I suppose I'll do all those things, too. What did you normally <laughs> do when you didn't go to the Oscars? Did you, did you, did you go to the parties, or did, did you stay home? I had been to the Oscars a few times um, because I, was, I sang uh, a nominated song once when I was nine, which is very embarrassing. <laughs> uh, and then I, I presented a few times as well, and I was nominated once before yeah. uh, when I was 13. Is it true somebody told me you never went to an acting class? That's true. No, I never did. I, I, it really, only in the last few years have people uh, been shocked about that because um, when I was growing up, you just didn't. I mean, people didn't really. I mean, maybe, maybe they did. They just didn't. Child actors didn't really. Right. You know, so I, I, I don't. I'd like to see what they do there because I hear <laughs> a lot about it. Well, you are probably an intuitive. There are people who are intuitive actors or actresses, I believe. Well, I guess so. I mean, but it comes much easier for them to, to not have a study. I'm serious. I, I mean, I did study other you, things. Yeah. Which I, I have a feeling that. Well, you went to Yale, thing. right? Yeah, I went yeah. to college, so I think it's probably the same thing. I mean, I don't really know. I'm not an expert about these things, but I think you know, if you study voice or whatever, uh, or you study dance or movement, I mean, uh, you could probably do that at home. Now that you've won the Academy Award, I don't think you should go back to act, go to no. acting class at all. No. <laughs> you don't think so? I don't think so. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. You're good enough as it is. Well, thank you. Yeah. Let me take a break. We'll be right back. There we go. Hi, we're just taking pictures of each other. <laughs> we're, like, we're like two tourists coming to town taking pictures. Uh, my next guest has won a huge number of awards in country music. She's gotten three more nominations in the upcoming Academy of Country Music Awards which will be seen on NBC the 10th of April. She has a new album. We're back, yeah. It's the latest, huh? That's the latest. Latest. 2016. Well, you sell a lot of albums, don't you? You receive so many awards. You get tired of it? I ask her this, really the same question. Shoot, no. Huh? More, <laughs> more, 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 huh? Yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah. 
Are you out on tour now? We're out, we're out on tour until about the last of May, first of June. Take June off and go the rest of the year. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. for being here now. I appreciate it. And go see this young lady. She gives a brilliant performance in Accused, really. Yeah, really well, good. well worth seeing. <laughs> Come back again, will you? Okay. 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 okay uh, tomorrow uh, night, Michael Keaton will be here, comedian Rich Scheidner. We have classical violinist uh, Joshua Bell. And I promise tomorrow, no condom jokes. <laughs> Good night. Tonight, Saturday Night Live, Phil Hartman and NBC News commentator John Franklin provide the entertainment on Late Night with David Levin. Then Susan St. James joins Bob on Later with Bob Costas.